All right, so the Raiders lost embarrassingly once again, this time to the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, I thought losing to the Jaguars was our rock bottom moment, but no, this has to be it. Losing to the Indianapolis Colts, a team that has an interim head coach right now, Jeff Saturday, he gets his first win and the Raiders had no answer. I mean, this was just very embarrassing that we lost 25 to 20 at home. And, you know, we're playing a pretty washed up quarterback, in my opinion, Matt Ryan, 37 years old. I mean, we should be winning this. But no, the Raiders are going to do what they're going to do in this and lose, you know, like they've been all year. So two and seven through nine games, you know, definitely, you know, just a horrible first half of the season. So the Raiders allowed a one yard touchdown run in the first quarter to Matt Ryan. And that made it seven nothing. That was the only score in the first quarter. Uh, Indy got a 48 yard field goal from Chase McLaughlin and that made it 10 nothing. But the Raiders got on the board with a Foster Moreau four yard pass from Derek Carr. And I mean, for the record, Derek Carr was missing so many wide open receivers. There were some drops, but inexcusable, you know, misreads by Carr. So that made it 10-7. Chase McLaughlin at the end of the uh, first half though, did get a field goal. So made it 13 to seven Indianapolis. The Raiders went down the field in the third and eventually finished the drive with the Josh Jacobs one yard touchdown run. And that made it 14-13. Uh, the Colts then uh, got a Jonathan Taylor 66-yard run, crazy, uh, to give them the 19-14 advantage. They went for two and didn't get it. They tried to push their lead to a touchdown, and it made it 19-14. And then later on in the fourth quarter, um, Devontae Adams got an amazing play. He caught sort of a middle-range pass from Carr and took it all the way to the end zone, 48 yards. The Raiders went for two, didn't get it, but only led by one. Indianapolis uh, gets a touchdown at the end of the game. It was the game-winning touchdown. They don't get the two-point conversion. So three two-point conversions between both teams, and no no one got one. So that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, the Raiders are just terrible, flat-out terrible. Um, the defense, the coaching, Derek Carr, it's all terrible. Um, and yeah, Carr in this game, you know, he didn't throw an interception, but it's really the stuff off the score sheet that was the problem. He wasn't finding open receivers as usual. He was, his pocket presence was terrible. Um, Jacobs, okay game, right? I mean, he had that touchdown, uh, but the Raiders receiving, you know, it was all Devontae Adams, 126 yards. Other than that, I mean, they are shorthanded in the receiver game. Mac Hollins is like the wide receiver too. And then wide, uh, you know, their first tight end is Foster Moreau now based on the injuries and the injuries are hurting us for sure um and so yeah uh max crosby did get a sack for the raiders that was good but you know just a, not much to be proud of for the raiders in this game losing badly matt ryan had a good game jonathan taylor dominated the ground game 147 yards averaging just under seven yards per carry and the colts moved to four five and one a pretty big win for them i mean looking at the south standings uh you know they're second place and sort of on the rise behind the Titans. So yeah, the Raiders, man, are just embarrassing. They're hard to watch at this point. I mean, I still do watch them, but it's not, you know, fun to do. They're going to play division rival Broncos in Denver next game. Two teams that are struggling right now. The Raiders did win in the first contest. One of the first, one of the two Raiders wins uh, was, you know, against the Broncos, but I don't know how this is going to end up we'll see what happens so that's going to do it guys let me know your thoughts on this game the Raiders lose to the Colts at home 25 to 20 I'll see you guys later and yeah go Raiders